Columbia and Barnard were really the glue, but the tennis team is really what has held us together. It was really about the friends that sat to my right and to my left in my classes that wanted to see us succeed. It's been wonderful now sharing my space and my craft with others with whom I've had a relationship probably for many years. Your dedication to Columbia over a span of more than a decade has earned the recognition that we award you today. Thank you. I am the first in my family to even have a high school diploma. Dr. Brenda Aiken from Barnard College and Physicians and Surgeons. My paternal and maternal grandparents were both sharecroppers in rural South Carolina, and they did not want that for their children. And so New York is where they came. I had my interview at Barnard College. I said, well, I do well in the sciences and math, so maybe I'll do medical technology, laboratory technology. And she turned around and said, women come here to be doctors. And I was like, oh. <laughs> It was really the Black and Latin students of the organizations here, Barnard Organization of Soul Sisters, BOSS, and the Charles Drew Pre-Medical Society that said, that really took us in and said, um, if you're even thinking about a pre-medical curriculum, this is what you need to do to survive. And this is, and we're here to help you. So by the time I got to medical school, I was like, okay, so now I have the foundation. And I also knew about um, that they had a strong black and Latin student organization that we called Ball Soul. And so again, I was just looking for groups that shared experiences with me and I wouldn't be alone. So for 20 years, I worked in the Harlem community and then I transitioned to Columbia University, Columbia Health, and there are over uh, 30,000 students on the campus. We provide the primary care medical services for the students here. I really came back for the black and Latin students that were in this, that were here. It was really about making sure that they were successful and succeeded in school. So I think it's important for our students to see that we, that there's still, there's still work to be done and that institutions still need to change and that we have to be a part of that change. I'm so happy for you. It makes me want to cry. When he, my son, came to the business school, I was just, wow proud parent who would have ever thought that, you know, my son would be here. And they may seem young today, but when the medical students start their internships, we'll be relying on them. I see myself as a child of the community that when I was able to, to give or to do, I did. Not because I thought in the end I would get some award like this. Dr. Don Boyd. Nursing school. What was so special about Columbia's nurse anesthesia program, the breadth of clinical experience and clinical training sites that we have? As I began to practice clinically, I got very involved in policy and advocacy work through our state association for nurse anesthetists. And that was really the primary driver for my returning back to school to study uh, in a doctoral program. My cohort was very, very close in school. In nursing, men are about only 10% of nurses in the provider population. In nurse anesthesia, we're about 50%. One very wise woman at the school uh, recently told me, you know, that, we're, that we stand on the shoulders of giants here at our school, and that's absolutely the truth. This new building reflects where nurse anesthetists are today. We're able to have our students train on task trainers. We're able to run them through scenarios in, in a simulated operating room that feels and behaves very realistically. Being a faculty member in a place where I was a student, for me, is amazing. You know, I never went far from Columbia. What drew me back in after finishing my PhD in 2017 is, is, is really the same thing that drew me in from the very beginning. And it's, it's just that feeling of being part of a huge network of alumni throughout the world, essentially, and feeling like I've only scratched the surface for what I can do. They represent two branches of a shared legacy that I was very happy to be instrumental in bringing the two groups together. These relationships are special because you share a common thread and that's the School of Nursing. It's Columbia University. It's a wonderful thing to share. These graduates are the nurses who will safeguard the public's health. 
What it was like to receive the Alumni Medal, completely amazing. It's one of the first times that I felt like part of the tapestry of something much larger than just our school. Leslie Giddis Brodsky from Columbia College. Columbia didn't just come to me out of the blue coming from this public high school in Miami. My dad went to the college and the dental school and my mother went to the nursing school. They had Columbia near and dear to their heart because they met there. I was a tennis player, so I had a recruiting trip up at Columbia. The coach picked me up and, and dropped me off at a, a freshman's dorm room, and her name was Teresa Saputo. She happens to be one of my best friends to this day. As far as the chaos of New York City, the cold weather, the drive from LaGuardia to campus, the, the tennis courts being you know half an hour away, none of that really mattered. I, I felt really comfortable on campus from the first time I saw it. My dad, who is a dentist, um, I never really thought he was so academic, but as soon as I started in the core, I came home for my first trip, he opened up his closet and he actually kept all of his books from the core curriculum. So we really bonded over that. I really felt confident enough that I could pitch a inside women's athletic column to the Columbia Spectator. And really that's, I think, where I articulated my voice as a feminist. We are a very spirited uh, group of alums, as you can see from the alumni medals, um, from you know Donna McPhee now spending her professional career overseeing uh, the CAA and uh, being a part of the university. Philippa Portnoy is now a trustee at Barnard. Um, I've been on the board of visitors for the past few years. Teresa Saputo's on the board of visitors. I'm in touch now with dozens of women that have graduated from Columbia. They were my mentees. And I think that has really been the most satisfying thing of all the alumni engagement is that I really get to know the students. One of my major involvements with Columbia is with the Columbia Startup Lab and to mentor the different entrepreneurs in digital marketing, um, business planning, fundraising. This ain't my first rodeo. <laughs> we are three generations of Columbia because my son is starting here as a freshman. I want him to have his own experience and to explore and make his Columbia journey his journey. They will fully engage with finding solutions to the challenges of contemporary civilization. It was probably in the top 10 greatest days of my life to just have tens of thousands of people from every different background imaginable. I thought there's so much opportunity out there.